Welcome to Remnant Online Followers. Please kindly subscribe. Thank you. People give their way into greatness. They give their way. As a youth copper, God told me, if you eat that alawi, you are finished. My friends were saving, and that's good. At least you will learn the discipline of saving. But God was taking me to a future I couldn't buy. And I had to seed out all my allowance. As a youth copper. I came back. I had scholarship. God said, go nowhere. Give up that. I taught in the secondary school for six years. Earning 25,000. Even that 25,000, God won't let me spend it. He said, give it. And today, you sit in your house. Somebody drives a Mercedes May badge and say, man of God, take. And another person looks at you and say, oh boy, wait till you they do. You think things just happen. You can buy the future by your sacrifices today. The law of nature respects it. The laws of God respects it. And if you want to be great in this life and walk in unlimited expansion, you must make giving your lifestyle. Don't let anybody preach you to give. Give because the Holy Ghost led you, because you are mature. And when you see a need, you take responsibility. That maturity is why God will give you the burdens of nations. I stumbled on a documentary recently that shook me. I, was, I read, I saw the video that in 1967, when there was civil war in Nigeria, both camps agreed to cease fire for 48 hours just for Kimpele, Edson Arantes Donasimanto, to come play a football match in Nigeria for one day. Something that engendered national dispute that we could not resolve. Millions of lives were taken. As unreasonable as both pack camps were, they were willing to cease fire for 48 hours just because they wanted the pleasure of watching a gifted man. The man retired. After five years, they begged him from America. Please come and play football on the American soil. The Bible says a man's gift maketh room for him. The moment you begin to master and sharpen your gift, that gift begins to create enlargement for you. Whether it's in the kingdom or outside of the kingdom, these are universal principles. There are many comedians today who can pay all the university professors. And they won't know money left their account. There are many comedians today who speak for one hour. They receive what a professor will receive in 10 years. And so in addition to your training, find out the gift you have. Develop that gift and master it. That gift is what will make you stand out. If you carry something, suddenly everybody is smiling at you. Even when they are angry, when they see you, they smile. They want you to know they are happy with you. It's not because of your face. It's because of what you carry. And somebody else abandoned his or her gift and is trying to look for favor by force. You will attract reproach. Have you not seen people? The more you call them, the more they hate you. If they even see your call, they are offended. What is your problem? Leave me alone. Why are you calling me? Meanwhile, you think you are servicing relationship. They say the way you service relationship is through communication. And you call, you attract reproach. Because the person, he doesn't see why he needs you in his place. Whereas, there's another person who they are calling to and begging that they should call them. You have not called me in the last five months. Oh, Paul is where? Okay, can you come home? I've cooked a very sumptuous delicacy. Just come and eat and rest. Why you are begging for food? They are begging some people to come and eat. And the person will say, I'm coming. He will now call and say, Kai, my schedule was tight. I couldn't come. But next week, this person will still not be offended. Are you sure you come next week? Please make sure you come. Home. I don't want to cook and you don't come again. Oh, God. Is it not this same food? Others are begging you for that you won't give. And next week, the person still won't come. You now say, okay, since you can't come, I'll bring it to your office. <laughs> cook the food, package it, load it to the office, wait for the person to eat, and they are happy that the person ate. Because he has something. He has a gift. Some people even know the power of a gift that they are arrogant with it. People still love them. Now, this is not to encourage you to be arrogant. But this is telling you the power of a gift. There's an athlete called Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the most arrogant people on earth. 
but he has the highest follower on Facebook, the highest follower on Instagram. People deliberately overlook his arrogance because of the excellency of his gift. You don't beg your way through life. You walk your way through life. And the way you walk it is through the gift that God has given you. If you master your gift, you will be shocked that even your enemies will have no... They cannot but receive you. I heard that they suspended. I've not verified this. They suspended the marriage law in Saudi Arabia just for Cristiano Ronaldo to be able to stay with a woman he's not married to. A national law. A people are known by their laws and values. How can a core Islamic nation suspend her values and laws just because they want to see an old retiring footballer play on their shores? Today, all the stadiums are packed. This is a nation where if they play World Cup, they have to pull down the stadium because nobody attends. Stadiums are now packed. What happened to the other 21 players? The moment he entered the club, they sacked their old striker. Go and look for another contract. I'm not saying this to despise him, please. I'm trying to advance a point. So they don't hate that guy. But somebody came with a gift that they could not resist. And you are here. God gave you a gift of singing. You've not done anything about it. You are moving around with your certificate and you've moved for seven years. God gave you a gift that you have despised. It's so blunt. Meanwhile, the brightest side of your destiny anchors on that gift that God has given you. I heard when Messi won his sixth Ballon d'Or, a Rolex company gifted him a Rolex watch of $150,000. They just wanted him to wear it. Let people just know that Messi uses this watch. And the moment he collected that watch and he went viral, the order they received to make that watch was enough to settle the company for 10 years. Because one man has a gift that has made the world accept him. And on the strength of that gift, he becomes celebrated like a god. In the last World Cup, it was nations that were praying for the guy. Nations. Because he knew how to carry his gift. He mastered the gift and he carried it in humility. And because he carried that gift, presidents of nations, leaders of nations, all were praying and hoping for him to excel. It was the goodwill of people that gave him the World Cup. You know what your gift can do to you? Your gift can give you what your training in 10 lifetimes cannot give you. And so if you really are interested in enlargement, you need to find out the gift that you have and begin to develop it. Refine your gift, master it until when you use it, no other person can use it like that. When you get to that level, kings will celebrate you. Nations will celebrate you. Your generation will celebrate you. That's why I told you, people don't relate with you because they love you. They relate with you because of what you carry. You want enlargement? You have to develop your gift. There is no body without a gift. In fact, as a believer, there are three major gifts God gave us. He gave us the gift of righteousness. He gave us the gift of eternal life. And he gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of righteousness is a power gift. Anything God says becomes. So righteousness is a power. And when God gave us that righteousness as a gift, he brought us into the economy of power. So we have the ability to change things. God gave you the gift of eternal life. Eternal life is what makes God God. So he brought us into his class. And he also gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's the gift that makes us operate like God. And so there's no body here without a gift. If a man is struggling, it's because he has not paid attention to his gift or he has not developed that gift. The moment you begin to build your gift, you'll be amazed. The kind of enlargement and expansion that gift will give you. Some is just talking. They talk. They think creatively and talk. Obama became president because he talks. When they heard him speak, they say, what is this? A nation that has never allowed a black man suddenly wholeheartedly and overwhelmingly endorsed the black man and allowed him to become their president. Because when the guy is talking, you can't sit down. He's mastered it. He became so fluid. It's like oil, like honey. And so even if you don't like him, if you know you don't like him, don't hear him. If you hear him, you will change your mind. Never carrying any paper. He will stand and talk for 50 minutes and it's just flowing like a river. 
even people who are not politicians hear Obama. He is supporting gay. They are hearing him. All the evil, he supports it, but they still hear him. Because you can't despise a gifted man. There is something about giftings that overwhelms even your enemies. And so when a man sincerely is seeking enlargement, he must find, take the responsibility of discovering his gift and pay the price to refine it. Thank you for watching. Please kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you always get notified whenever we post a new video. And don't forget to share. Thank you.